I've been out of a gym routine for a few months now so I've lost a bit of definition and I'm ready to level up so here we go I usually start my mornings with kombucha I'm giving it a little stir here carefully in the bottle just because kombucha is very carbonated you can't shake before pouring now I don't always do kombucha there are sometimes I will alternate with either celery juice that I make myself or some warm lime water so things don't get too boring I add creatine to my kombucha to make sure I get that in Creatine is good to build muscle mass. It supplies energy to the muscle. It's really good for recovery and it may promote brain health, which is one of the reasons I started taking it in the first place. A lot of women tend to stay away from creatine thinking it is just for men. If you do have goals of losing fat, I do highly recommend creatine. Just take a little more time to do some research. So I wet my whistle with some water. Um, obviously we know the benefits of water if not I'm going to put that on the screen while you watch me start my mindfulness routine so usually when I'm drinking my kombucha I take about 30 minutes just to do my gratitude journal I journal a bit I may read the bible or do some meditation and then get ready for the gym of course I'll be drinking the rest of my kombucha before leaving out now i'm not taking the creatine before the gym for any added benefits to uh, my workout it's just to make sure i have that in my system am i the only one that enjoys this franken fruit <laughs> now i usually go uh, with a snack or something to eat before my workouts so that became a game changer this morning was an apple usually it's rice cake with some honey and um a bit of celtic salt but i was out of salt so i just grabbed an apple before going now um my workout instead of getting just right into a routine i decided to just freestyle in the gym that day getting my um, body acclimated to working out in this manner again so i start off of course with the heavy bag then go on to just using some of the weights um again i'm just getting myself acclimated there's no rhyme or reason to any of these but I'm making sure i remember to use good form and take my time with all of these exercises now typically when i am on a routine i will have um i separate my days out um to include maybe a leg day a push day pull day i'll adjust accordingly now i am um, my goals right now again is to re-establish the definition that i previously had and i am going for abs now originally the goal was to have them before the summer but honestly there's no reason to stop now just because i didn't get there in time um, just life life and i just got you know pushed away from that goal but again i am back on and i am going to work on making sure i have my abs at least by the end of the summer <laughs> and it's um just a silly superficial goal just because i wanted to make sure i challenged myself to something but if that isn't your goal don't make yourself um don't force yourself to do something just because that's what other people are doing all right Fun fact, did you know at the age of 40, your muscles start to rapidly decrease and bone starts to degenerate? Um, one way you can stop that or slow it down or even reverse it um, is to lift weights. So I definitely recommend lifting weights. I got into weightlifting mainly because of the diabetes that was running rampant in my system. I found out building um, up your leg strength will definitely combat um, the symptoms of diabetes and since that I haven't been taking any of the medications I've been able to use food and really take care of myself studies have shown a strong correlation between leg strength and long life for many reasons I can go into in another video I definitely recommend lifting weights especially as you age on this day, I swung on by to Publix. There goes that fruit again. I had to pick up a few things. Um, I was running low on the kombucha, as you saw, and I wanted some salmon, smoked salmon for breakfast. So I picked that up. This one doesn't have any of that red dye in it. As I'm making my breakfast, I sip on my green tea. Green tea is a good 
alternative for coffee drinkers. For fat loss, the goal is to build muscle. So these Kodiak cakes are really good for protein. I usually will eat one or two cakes. I ran out of um, mix and I was looking in the cupboard and that's all I had. I didn't have, I had muffin mix and everything else. So I just uh, used what I had, which was the one um, cake, but I didn't really want more than that, to be honest with you. So it worked out fine. To that, I add a little vanilla. It just because I like a little more flavor with it. And then I got my um, eggs mixed ready. Now eggs have been added to my diet more recently. I have two of them here. I was eating a vegan diet for the past seven years. And then when I did my initial fat loss, I actually didn't use eggs in that either, just cause I was going by the blood work model. So I ate by my blood type and eggs were not a part of that so I again just adding it in now I have the excellent source of protein as you may know some people may do more egg whites and just feel like there's too much cholesterol in having two of the yolks I don't believe you should overthink too much especially in the initial fat loss or weight loss my goal is to have whole foods as much as possible and try to eat your serving size that's what I recommend and that's what I did as I work on developing my abs I will be counting my micronutrients but I am not suggesting that when you're getting started there's just a lot to remember when you are doing your um, fat loss weight loss journey to health now I'm taking out a little of the salmon I just took out what I would want to eat that morning I did not look at the serving size but I do suggest when you are starting out lifting weights increasing your protein and eating whole foods as close to the serving size as possible those are the things you should be focused on counting calories has never worked for me if it hasn't worked for you i'm suggesting doing what i'm suggesting so i go ahead and i'm making my little pancake these um scramble those eggs up it's just again two eggs if you prefer just the egg whites and make substitutions then I'll go ahead and just plate that with everything else. I didn't show the cucumbers, but I actually just love cucumbers. And I recently enjoyed um, just having them for breakfast. I add them to almost everything. I am one that enjoys that perfect bite. So different tastes and textures make my food more enjoyable. A little later on in the morning, I will have myself a juice. So I usually um, like to just blend my own juice now I just realized I'm missing a clip but I'll put an overlay of um, the bag of fruit I used not really recommending because it said dragon fruit and if you look closer not much I'm you adding the MSM powder mostly for my joint health even though it's actually very good for hair um, hair growth as I originally bought it now depending on my fruit selection I will add the chlorophyll or plan to leave it out just because I don't like ugly colored fruit juices so this one wasn't so bad because we already have some oranges and greens and even though this is supposed to be dragon fruit mix it literally had one piece of dragon fruit in there which was really really odd I didn't expect the whole bag to be dragon fruit obviously because it was a melody or a medley medley is it melody it's a medley right <laughs> so um anyway i had some extra yogurt i don't like the texture of this and this is another thing i've added again coming from a vegan diet i was checking out a new um yogurt on the um it just said new at Publix. I, it kind of has like a slimy consistency so this turned from a juice to a smoothie which again is not typical but i don't really want to waste um, the yogurt that I've had and it doesn't taste bad it was just a textural thing for me now I just simply do juices um, when I feel like it there's time where I alternate and have protein powders of course right now the yogurt is adding some added protein that um, is needed as we're building muscle and I do recommend eating your calories more than drinking them but honestly I'm doing a really real um, version of what I ate in the day and that this day I wasn't very hungry so I spent my 
morning just sipping on that until a lot later on when it was time for me to have a little snack much later on in the day i had these lenny and larry's protein cookies it's 15 grams of protein for a packet so just know um seven sizes two cookies i had three cookies so i took about seven and a half grams of protein i i'm not a huge fan of protein snacks but this is tolerable and i have a little bit of a sweet tooth so this does help out with that now these are vegan like oreos but they do not taste like them at all now later that day i did have a different dinner planned out but my son had chipotle so i asked him for a wrap and i had some steak and i made myself a little wrap with rice beans and avocado <laughs> 